So really quick, I'm going to show you how to use the K-cup versus the standard like pot with the ground coffee. So this literally just pops up, closes down. See, it's pretty easy. You just pull up from this lever like that. So that is the operation of it. Pop your Keurig cup in there. So when you're not using the Keurig cup and you want to use this as a standard coffee maker, this whole um, Keurig adapter pops out. And the way you do that is you slide it back like this and then the whole thing can lift out. So I'm gonna do that again. So this is in use where you can use it, slide it back, and now the whole thing comes out, okay? I'm gonna do that a couple more times. Slide it forward, now you're using the K-cup. Slide it back, and now the whole adapter is coming out, okay? So, and this essentially is what keeps it locked in when you have it forward to where it's only gonna lift up the K-cup. So back, you try to lift it up, like, oh, I wanna put a K-cup in here. Oh, nope, you're, put, you're lifting the whole thing. So just make sure that's forward. If you wanna use that K-cup or Keurig cup, whatever they call it, and back if you're wanting to remove that. And that is, I don't know if you can see that from there, but that's the pot, you put the filters in, or that's the like where the grounds go. And then to, and then to cover it, so this lifts up, and wow, you got this, this shiny metal right here. This literally slides forward, bam. Isn't that fancy? So again, slides back, slides forward. Slides back, slides forward. Snap this down and you're ready to go. Now you can start brewing with the full pot and you're good to go. So, okay, so you wanna go back from this to the K-cup. All you do is lift this, slide it back, Put your, put your adapter in, put that down, push that forward, okay? So backwards, pop it out, lift, slide forward, down. You're with a pot of coffee. You want, oh, I want a quick, quick Keurig cup. Lift, push back, push that down, down, forward. 